Welcome to Fine Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Downtown Disney. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at the Kelly Bert. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Before we get today's adventure started, I do want to give a big shout out to all my patrons that support Five Fires. It truly means the world. And all the people that have supported Five Fires through Buy Me A Coffee, I just want to say the biggest a thank you for supporting the fire. If you would like to support the fire, there's links in the description to our Patreon for Five Fires and for Buy Me A Coffee. All right, everybody, today we're going to have a fun adventure at Downtown Disney, and it's a beautiful day. Let's do this. When you get off Simba parking lot and you walk straight into downtown Disney, this is the first thing you look at. And wow, oh wow, what a view it's gonna be. So this was originally Rainforest Cafe back in the day, but now it's transforming into something else, something from another planet. And the big planet is called Yavin 4, at least that's what it's been speculated. And it's gonna be a resistance base hidden in the jungle on another planet, which is Yavin 4. And this is what it's gonna look like. <laughs> um, we have a lot of changes that have now occurred at the very top right there. Uh, that has now changed. Let me get a good zoom into that. That top end right there is looking very Star Wars and stealth-like in my opinion. And then also we have some antennas that have now arrived. This one right here, let me get a zoom. And then we have that antenna right there. And I'm guessing we're gonna get one more on that fire pit right there. Uh, we thought these were gonna be fire pits, but it looks like they're just gonna be uh, standalone lights uh, with antennas on it. Uh, the biggest update that has now occurred is this. This is now gonna be where the sign's gonna uh, go and it's gonna most likely say Star Wars Trading Post. At least that's what we got from a Disney Parks blog because Star Wars Trading Post was originally uh, where Wonderground Gallery was, and then it's rumored to come this way. The big questions here is, is it only gonna be a merch store or is it gonna be a restaurant? Is it gonna be a restaurant addition to a merch store? Uh, we do know that they're gonna be selling lightsabers, robes, pretty much all things Star Wars. I don't think it's just gonna be Galaxy's Edge related. I'm guessing it's gonna be just Star Wars in general. But this is exciting times. We're seeing a lot of construction, people come in and out, a lot of people painting. So whatever this used to look like, it's definitely gonna transform into something else and it's gonna be Star Wars related. So we'll definitely keep you guys posted here on Five Fires YouTube. We're gonna keep track of this every step of the way. All right, let's keep our adventure going into downtown Disney. All right, we're about to hit up the Lego store. We heard there's some Valentine stuff. Let's see what's new. We got the Lego store. We got some new, or actually these came about on New Year's and they're Lego flowers. Look at the detail, they're Lego flowers. They sell the sets, 50 bucks. But the thing is, these sell out so fast. So maybe I could get some of these for my girlfriend for Valentine's Day, we'll see. This would be a really nice gift for uh, Mystery Bay. So they were completely out of the other flowers, but they do have these available. Uh, they have these and it's being sold for uh, $12.99, these roses. And then check this out. They also have tulips and this is only being sold for $9.99. This is gonna be a nice little gift for my girlfriend. Uh, this is just one of the gifts I'm gonna give her. <laughs> but instead of having flowers that are just gonna be done in, in like a couple days. These flowers are gonna last forever. Finally made our way through downtown Disney now. We're gonna go straight to Buena Vista Street. So we just got breaking news on Disneyland's Twitter or annual pass holder. It's now called Disneyland Legacy Annual Pass Holders. Uh, I've never heard of that. What the heck is Legacy Pass Holders? from the blog that I read from Disney. This is officially from Disney. They're the ones that announced this. Uh, for the time being, we're gonna be considered legacy pass holders and we're gonna still be able to get 30% off even beyond February 25th. At least that's kind of what I read. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get other perks out of this or not, uh, but we're gonna stay tuned and keep everything covered. I think we're gonna do a live stream uh, with Danny uh, maybe this evening and 
kind of just go more into detail of what this is all about. But this was sprung on us out of nowhere. Disneyland Legacy Annual Pass Holders. What? <laughs> we'll get if we get more information, I'll definitely keep everybody updated on this vlog. All right, we're about to go to Disney California Adventure. Can't wait to see if anything has changed uh, Buena Vista Street wise. Fired up. Let's do this. So we're up. We're now at Buena Vista Street to get some updates. Uh, Starbucks is still not open. Grizzly Peak is still uh, cut off right there. Uh, but we did get word that they're now selling cotton candy, uh, Mickey ice cream bars. They're selling soda. All sorts of stuff over here. Uh, and it's the booth at Carthay Circle. And then we also got word uh, that there's an extension over here as well. Let's check it out and see what's new. Over here in front of Carthay Circle, they are selling balloons of many various different types. Uh, and some of these actually light up. They have the up balloon, which is our favorite. And they are selling some new popcorn buckets. Or well, they're not new, but they're selling uh, the annual pass holder Jack Skellington. They still have the Simba. And then they have the Guinevere. That's not our Right outside Carthay Circle, they are selling ice cream now, cotton candy. Also over here in front of Carthay Circle, you can finally get a nice refreshing soda. And most importantly, you can get frozen treats. Uh, currently, they're not selling the Mickey ice cream sandwich. They're out of that. They have to reorder some shipment of those, but they do have everything else available. And the most important part is you can eat these on property. Woohoo! We're finally allowed to have ice cream on property. So I had to take the advantage. I already took a bite, took a couple photos. It feels so nice to have a Mickey treat on Disney property again. And let me tell you, this was definitely worth the five bucks. You could buy um, one of these Mickey ice creams over here in front of Carte Circle right there. Wow, I missed Mickey shaped, Mickey shaped food. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Not only that you could eat on property now, you could take your mask off and sit down. Is that crazy? How valley, like the little things we didn't appreciate a month ago. <laughs> but there's a lot of talk about when it comes down to all these changes happening. Uh, I think I'll be posting that in a different video from today's vlog. Today's just about enjoying uh, all the nostalgia of Buena Vista Street opening up again, like further and being able to get a treat on property. This is so cool. So previously the rope used to be right here that cut off Carthay Circle into Cars Land, but now they have it extended it to right there. You can, now not, you can now walk into this area. If you have any food or drinks, you can now sit down, take off your mask and enjoy it over here in these seats, which is outdoor dining. Uh, but soon enough, but we have heard some rumblings, all of the booths that are in front of Carthay Circle will be moving into this section in here, uh, which is where all the booths were previously. Uh, we might see like the chimichangas, the uh, popcorn, churros all those stands cotton candy ice cream soda we're gonna see it all return into that back area right here but this is so cool they've now turned on the fountain or the uh the waterfall over here look how beautiful that is such a beautiful day the waterfalls the waterfall is just gorgeous and now this signs up Face coverings must be fully covered, nose and mouth, and be worn at all times, except when actively eating and drinking, while outside, stationary, and physically distanced. So this is as far as we could go. 
but I think soon enough they're gonna start opening up further and further probably to that wine cellar right there before tomatoes and it's really cool because now we could hopefully look back into Avengers campus and see how the progress is going on the spider-man ride and then hopefully we get Carthay circle running in a couple weeks and award wiener and smoke jumper grill over here at Buena Vista Street extension it's gonna be fun times again over here at Buena Vista Street so I finally had a chance to check out that legacy annual pass holder update, whatever it is. <laughs> I had a chance to read it. And from what I'm getting out of it, we're still gonna get 30% off only Monday through Thursday till February 25th. It is gonna expire come February 25th. But after that, until a new pass is presented, uh, you're gonna get your normal either 10, 15, 20%, whatever you got they'll still honor your expired pass. But what I'm hearing that there's more surprises to come for legacy pass holders. Uh, the blog that they presented today is not the end all be all of it, but there's gonna be maybe some special offerings uh, and some delightful surprises down the line. I don't know, I don't know when, but uh, that's really cool of Disney because uh, they've sunset the annual pass holder program over here in Southern California, Disneyland. Uh, but it's really cool that they're still at least giving us uh, some time of the day and at least renaming that Disneyland Legacy Annual Pass Holder Program and uh, still giving us some uh, exclusive uh, <laughs> prize or, and still giving us some exclusivity uh, for being pass holders and uh, I'm excited. I, I, I can't wait to see what surprises do come in the near future but uh, I kind of feel like we need to do a live stream and talk about this because uh, I feel like there's a lot of mixed emotions and uh, a lot of confusion so i'll keep looking into this uh, legacy pass holder uh, info and uh, stay tuned for that live stream later on all right so we just got done with the extension that goes into avenger campus we're now going to fire it up over here and uh, we actually saw somebody eating a corn dog and we all freaked out and uh, we thought it was from award wiener but award wiener's close most likely it's the one from World of Disney. What was it called, it's uh, called Paul? Diggity Dogs. Diggity Dogs, yeah. yeah. I think that's where she bought it. <laughs> yeah, because there's only two places to buy corn dogs currently, and that's uh, Blue Ribbon Corn Dogs by Lego Store or Diggity Dogs by World of Disney. Got it, got it. Uh, but now, the most anticipated thing, we're actually going to go to stage uh, 17, and we haven't been there in a long time. <laughs> About two weeks now? Yeah, the it's been a while. It's too long. Yeah, people are just, it's just a long line always, but we're going to see how it is right now. We have a new Lunar New Year mug that has just arrived and it's Mickey inspired. Whoa, this thing is heavy. I did not expect it to be that heavy. It's being sold for 20 bucks, 19.99. And well, but uh, today we're actually gonna go to stage 17. The crowds are low. Let's see what's new inside. As you walk in, it's just dresses right now. It's actually kind of busy in here. So we're just checking out what's new, if anything, over here at Backlot Premiere Shop. Just going over all the marble items. Oh, I heard I am Groot. I am Groot. Got a lot of Groot merch right now. We have a marble shirt. Never seen this one, but it's actually really nice. And uh, it goes all the way from small all the way to 2x, and it's being sold for $36.99. They have like a Baby Yoda section over here as well. And then they have this one. That's so cool. These are some of the ears that are being sold over here at stage 17. This is where you can find the Valentine ears. Quite a good amount of uh, different and, uh, ears. Some of these are not even found at World of Disney. They also sell lounge fly backpacks over here at stage 17. You have the Forky. And then the rose gold up here. There's a plush that I think hasn't been sold in a long time, or it might just be new. It's a Vilu plush. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy. I wish it made noise, but look how cute it is. 
and it's being sold for it's being sold for $19.99 if you aren't interested and your 30% discount does apply now that we got done with Buena Vista Street Extension we're about to hit up World of Disney see if anything's new so we just walked into World of Disney, checking out these new Mickey and Minnie uh, attire. I've never seen them before. They're actually really nice. So I see this Mickey shirt. It is being sold for $36.99. This new long sleeve over here, $59.99. That's pretty nice. And then this long sleeve, $42.99 goes up to 2x this one's 2x uh 2x as well and this one goes up to yeah 2x as well this one's a sweater uh this one is 49.99 we also have a new sweater with mickey and minnie it's really really nice it's being sold for 39.99 and then some pajama pants that's pretty cool $44.99. And the big craze lately has been Disney New Emos. These have been just flying off the shelves. And to be honest, they're super cute. I get why they're flying off the shelves. And then if you get 30% off, why not? Uh, if you are interested in a new emo, they're 17 bucks. And these are the ones that you could buy. And then for the attire, they all cost $12.99 each. And then you could even keep it going and get a lounge fly on them on the new emo. For the lounge flies, how much are these? $19.99. Wow. So kind of expensive. We have a new Disney tail that has arrived and it's Mickey Mouse inspired. This is the large. It's being sold for $44.99 if you are interested. I was thinking of getting Doug the Pug this one. I'm not sure if large or uh, medium is the one that would fit him. Dig the Pug's kind of beefy. We got some new Mandalorian notebooks. And then this is what it looks inside. And uh, I think there's some stickers and stuff like that. But uh, how much is it being sold for, Paul? Uh, 24.99. 24.99. We're over here still at World of Disney, but the mug section. We have some new mugs that actually have arrived. We have a Cheshire Cat. Look how cool that is. I'm not sure about the price. Oh, look at the back. It says Cheshire Cat in the back. And then we also have a Marie. Oh, Oh, here's the price, $14.99. So they're, I'm guessing this one's $14.99 as well. And then check this one out. This is probably going to be the most popular one for sure. A Stitch Mug. And this one is also $14.99. And then in the back end, it says Stitch. Also, we have another cup that has arrived. Check out the inside for Alice in Wonderland. This one actually sold out yesterday, so it's nice that uh, World of Disney was able to restock it today. $19.99. Very cool cup. This is awesome. Also, for all these cups that arrived, Stitch, Marie, and Shishar Cat, they all have signatures on the very back end. What an exciting day it was over here at Downtown Disney. So many updates from Buena Vista Street to World of Disney. Just exciting times. The magic is coming every single day, seems like lately. We're going to be covering all this updates over here at Downtown Disney, so stay tuned. And yeah, stay tuned for that live stream going over the Legacy Annual Pass Holders uh, with me and Danny fairly soon. Uh, probably tonight. So stay tuned, everybody. Thank you guys for watching Five Fires YouTube. We are farting it down, farting it down. The Cali Bay is calling it today. I'm the main host, Mondo.